today I briefly want to talk about one of the probably most important aspects of playing an instrument. It is playing the guitar, in my case, posture and injuries. Why is it that we are so prone to injuries after playing for hours and hours? The wrist is the number one problem where people get hurt easily and the second most often we have pain in the back. Behind the right shoulder blade, underneath the shoulder blade to the right here. Let's see what's the best posture for playing the guitar. If you ask the literature, if you buy 10 methods, these aren't the right postures. But at first let's talk about what's the wrong posture. The wrong posture obviously is the one that doesn't sound good or hurts. So, the right posture isn't the one in the literature just because every book states different stuff, slightly different or very different stuff. Why is that so? Because we're all built differently. For my background, I want to briefly state that um, I studied at the university in the early 2000s and one of my theses, one of my papers was about um, injuries and posture. Yet I learned way more in the decades afterwards teaching, looking at my students, finding solutions and trying it out myself. Different postures and I'm prone to injuries as well. So yeah, what's the right posture? You will not like this answer because it's not an easy fix, but the right posture for you is the one that doesn't hurt and sound good. Easy, right? No, it isn't. We have many different methods like a stool. It's very nice. You can put your foot on. Now imagine putting my foot, my right foot or my left foot on. Already very different. Let's have a look at the classical posture. Left foot on the stool, guitar head is in your head height, you can easily play like this, okay? For hours and hours, until your back hurts terribly. You are not even here, you're lifting your leg for hours and sitting. That's not good. What about the right leg? No brainer, though. You get pain on the other side, your back on your lower back. Um, this year is preferred by pop, not by classical players, because strum is, has a different sound, it's a little bit easier, and you have this windshield cleaner mechanism that you want to avoid unless you're on the stage and rocking, but yeah, just a side note. If you're learning the guitar, small movements are good. But back to posture and injuries. That's not the only posture. Look at them flamenco players going like this, playing like this. Wow! Not only does your back hurt, but also your knee. Yet everybody is built differently. There are people who can play like this in decades and don't get hurt. One of the major reasons why I prefer this gadget to the stool is just that I can rest both of my legs on the ground and my lower back isn't bent like an S, but straight and relaxed. And I can play many hours in this position and it doesn't start to hurt in the lower back. That's the one benefit I get of this and it pays off. Okay, so much for the lower back. What about the shoulder? Oh no, I forgot this nice gadget. It comes in various sizes and shapes. I just happen to prefer a small one that fits in the case, isn't in the way and easily attached and applied. Again, you can use the left foot or the right foot and it's also very different when playing. See the posture? This here comes very close to the classical posture and this is somewhat in between classical and pop rock flamenco. All right, let's talk about injury zones. Let's go for the left wrist first because that's the most important one. If you're starting out playing the guitar, you probably don't have a stool, probably don't have like a kidano or something like this. 
you're playing the guitar, most often I see beginners resting their guitar on the right leg and they want to see what's on the fretboard. Have a look here. Do you see this? Muscles, nerves, blood vessels, ligaments, everything go through here and you cap it and then you put stress on it. Of course you get pain here. Yet again, there are people who don't get pain, but we don't want to copy them. Listen to your body. Try not to tilt the guitar like this. Yes, you want to see what you're playing, but still, take a look at your left hand. If you are holding a more complicated chord, even holding the guitar like this and not tilted, can be stressful here. And that's why the classical posture, I'm using the stool now to make it more authentic. See this? Yes, it looks very classical. Not very, yeah, rock and roll. But your hand will be very, very thankful for not putting stress on your wrist. I've also seen people play like this, flamenco players, grabbing the guitar with the elbow, playing here. And, and I personally don't like this posture because it's a fixation and every fixation hinders your fluent playing. You can play like this, what, but what about changing these positions here? Doesn't feel so good. I've also seen this here. Wow, your ears must hurt <laughs> after playing like this for hours. Yeah, but everybody is built differently. So that's the benefit of the classical posture. You might not like the look of it, it looks, but your left hand is very happy. And now I'm using this here, not even the stool. Still, let's bar this here. Nice E flat major. My left hand is straight. And I'm keeping this here, changing the position. And it's not that straight anymore, but I'm still using this gadget. If I get rid of it, ouch. Let's recap. If you want to relieve stress in the wrist, don't tilt your guitar and try to get the guitar head in the height of your neck or of your head. Either using this gadget, another gadget, or holding it like this, whatever you prefer. What about the shoulder? Second most often discussed problem. And it's not most often discussed by me, but I've worked together with doctors who specifically work on instrumentalists, on uh, violinists, on guitarists, uh, and see where and why there are problems and how to get rid of them. I really like this position. That's my go-to position. Because uh, it's a mixture and it just fits my body. I have a straight wrist and I can rest my lower arm here not the upper arm, the lower arm, and can play quite fluently. But there is a drawback to this position. If I don't relax here, if I ever so slightly tense up, that's where the shoulder problem comes. And it's not only this position, you can also use the stool on the right leg and just try to cramp even in the classical, but I must admit the classical position is the least problematic one for the right shoulder. Just because this here is a little bit lower. That's why the classical position stayed with us for so many years, so many decades. It evolved into one of the most practical positions. Is it beautiful? Depends on your taste. But the left hand is not in stress, the right shoulder is relaxed, it's very good. For flamenco, if you want to play alzabua and stuff like this, you have to adapt. Probably, everybody is built differently. Hmm. Also, very important, since everybody is built differently, now I'm getting annoying, right? The upper arm length and lower arm length is not the same. You don't have my length, I don't have yours. 
So some people are here, some people are there. It depend, very much depends on how you are built. Don't copy others and don't trust your method, your book and say, okay, that's the ultimate universal posture for everyone. There is none. Everybody has his own preference, his own body, his or her own body. And just listen to your body. If pain occurs, it's already too far. Adapt. Listen to your body. Listen to others, listen to teachers, get information, but filter it to your needs. That's the right position. That's the right posture. Yes, you don't like this answer, but it's up to you. It's your work. And don't let your body hurt, hurt, hurt and just play through the pain. That doesn't work out well. So have a nice time finding your own posture. And yeah, hopefully hear and see you soon. Bye.